Hello, Dr. Stenbeck here. Welcome to the third show in this series of dealing with each organ of the body from a holistic perspective, showing you the things you can do to enhance your own healing. And today we're going to be dealing with your small intestine and the large intestine or colon and the ileocecal valve between them. And uh, we'll be looking at all the mental, emotional, spiritual, diet and nutritional things that you need to be aware of to activate some self-healing. Now your small intestine is where you absorb all your nutrients. So it's a very important to keep it in a normal healthy state and not let it not be irritated or inflamed. Usual symptoms, malabsorption, gas, indigestion, bloating, and uh, coated tongue, referred pain to the low back, very common. And of course, mental stress and emotional stress are the most important things, more important than any herbs or nutrition you take to heal yourself. And the mental stress, as I said in the last show, uh, goes overloads into the stomach, the digestive system. And you've heard about how you can worry yourself into a stomach also. Well, the same thing occurs in the intestines. And the emotional stress, is this is where we hold fear, dread, and terror. And if you're someone who is very fearful, you probably have intestinal problems. So we have to identify where this is coming from so, and so that you can release it. And once you release it, then the intestine can heal. It's not going to heal without it. Yes, medically you can take whatever drugs are indicated and that goes right past the mental and emotional stuff, but it doesn't really uh, get to the underlying cause which is what you and I want to do. Uh, in terms of nutrition, uh, esophagus, stomach extract, intestinal extract uh, is available for carnivores and chickweed or golden seal are excellent herbs for vegetarians and these will also work for carnivores uh, if you cannot get the appropriate uh, cell extract that's made from beef. Okay, so I now want to show you uh, one of the symptoms of uh, small intestine problems. I'm going to show you a picture of the muscles that are found to be weak in the body when you have small intestine irritation or inflammation. Now here we're looking at the Touch for Health chart from uh, this organization in Pasadena, California and many um, holistic uh, health workers, applied kinesiologists, use this chart because it gives us information about particular muscles that are found to be weak with particular organ connections. Uh, this chart might be a little glary, but we'll zero in on the small intestine. All right, and what you see here with the small intestine acupuncture circuit is the muscles here in blue are found to be weak with small intestine irritation or inflammation. Now you can't diagnose disease from it, but you can tell that the acupuncture circuit is out of balance and that the small intestine has needs, uh, healing needs that uh, must be attended to. Uh, occasionally we find in like in small intestine disease that these muscles are excessively uh, strong and that's because the acupuncture energy is being held uh, in excess to try and enable healing. Now there's three charts here I'm going to show you. I'm not going to spend too much time on them. You can freeze the uh, screen and look at the details uh, on your computer. Um, small intestines about 20 feet long and uh, infectious agents, toxic byproducts of indigestion may interfere with absorption. Uh, usual symptoms, you've heard of them, malabsorption, gas, constipation, coated tongue, common. Referred pain to the low back is common. Keeps chiropractors busy uh, without getting at the real cause. Mental stress is also common, as is emotional stress. Fear, dread, and terror is found in your intestines. This is where it locks into your body and lays the seeds for causing later disease. Nutritionally, esophagus, stomach extract uh, from uh, better health food stores or online, you can get it too. Um, vegetarians, chickweed and golden seal is preferred. Uh, the nutrition though is doesn't do much good until you pull the stress out of the body. 
and of course in getting the stress out of the body uh, refer to my uh, website there's a lot of information there and you can access free chapters from my coming book on the mental stress emotional stress and spiritual stress and how to deal with it um, large intestine fairly short compared to the small intestine removes uh, the wastes in the bowels leaky gut syndrome can occur here when people have genetically weak intestines and uh, getting rid of the stress is very important uh, in healing leaky gut. Uh, the usual symptoms referred pain again to the low back. Uh, mental stress in this case is not very common but emotional stress is extremely common so this must be removed uh, from the intestines through emotional releases uh, which I talk about on the website and uh, nutritionally chickweed and golden seal, psyllium husk, capsules, acidophilus are all indicated for this healing. Now located between the small and large intestines we have the ileocecal valve which controls your bowel movements. If it closes down you get constipated. If it's open wide you get diarrhea. And uh, when uh, I, an ileocecal valve is already in trouble then eating these type of foods will make it worse. They're just too sharp on the valve. Uh, right, le right lower abdominal pain, elimination problems very common constipation or diarrhea, pain in the back, shoulder, hip, intestinal history is often present, um, mental stress very common, emotional stress also again very common, chlorophyll, green vegetable juices are the preferred nutrition which will not work until that stress is pulled out. Well there you have it, lots of good information there on helping your intestines get back to health uh, be sure to check in on the website drstenbeck.net for much more information and you can access a free visit with me on any one particular health problem uh, relative to an online consult and I'll be happy to give you that feedback. Uh, all the shows on, in preparation are there in the website along with other information on mental emotional stress, body types, the genetic need to, to eat a certain way for your health. Some people born to be carnivores, some born to be vegetarians, some people in between. You need to know what's right for you. So, that's about it for today and next time we'll be getting into the pancreas and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll look to see you next time. Okay, bye for now.